Hey guys, Cost here, and we're doing a Let's Play of Game Dev Tycoon. I will show you all how to be very good at the game. So, welcome to Game Dev Tycoon. It takes pay place in a 35 year cycle, I believe, or 45, it depends, because you can set different lengths. Game length 35, 42, or 30. We're gonna do 42, because I always like to do it long. <laughs> Company name. So, we're gonna name it Volatile Incorporated, or Volatile, god damn it. We're gonna name it Volatile Inc, okay? And player name is obviously gonna be Volatile X. Wait, does this fit? Yes! Actually, a lot of games don't make it so my name doesn't fit. Okay, we're, yeah, we're gonna be that guy. The, no, nah, mm, yeah. We'll do the only shirt with a real design. Unlock hints. Oh yeah, since I've played this game to completion like 50 times, right? I can unlock hints. What those are are pretty much telling me, go here, 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 to see how good the game might be. And uh, since we're, we're wanting to do this as a first time, we're gonna click no. I have to overwrite a, f okay, yeah. I have a lot of save slots, okay, it's not my fault. So, we're gonna develop a new game. I'm gonna pick the topic. We're gonna do a vampire action game. And on the PC, because we're a mu we're a master race. We're gonna call it... No, 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 no. <laughs> it's gonna be like, Castlevania! No, I refuse. We're gonna call it... Runs at night. No, nope. yeah, fuck. I don't know. I don't know what to call it. Like, 2D graphics. We don't want a text-based uh, vampire game because that's no fun. Okay. So the gameplay has to be high. Story and quests have to be about there, and then engine should be here. So we want a good engine. The story and quest can be pretty low though. Cause like, it's an action game. Who's gonna care too much about stories and quests, right? Right? Think about it. I'm good at this, I swear. Dialogue. Oh, bruh. AI high, level design high. We're gonna see how that one goes. <laughs> Actually, that might have been terrible. But, we'll never know. World design, graphics, and sound. Okay, graphics, 10 out of 10. Sound has to be high. World design, we'll keep it, we'll keep it here. Because think about it, in an action game, how much world is there, depending on the game, right? Oh my god, we got uh, 12 and 10 already. Now you gotta gotta let the bugs get kicked out, and then you finish it. And then you just wait, tells you how you did, Ah, oh, new topic, new combo, bonus XP multiplier. Fun fact, the XP multiplier on this does help you create better games, but game, get, game dev tycoon works in a weird way. The first review for our game's out, though. Runs at night. So this is how game dev generally works out, right? Once you make a good game, this is what's gonna happen. Your new, like, highest tier game will go up. So it'll be harder to create a game that good. That's why you get more XP and everything and use better engines, so then you create an even better best game. And then it keeps going until you reach to a point where it's really hard to create a good game. And then, I, it might just stop there. I, I'm not too sure. I'm no, I'm no elite pro, as they say. Okay, 38. We made it in the charts at number 30. It's our first game. Think about that. <laughs> first game ever. And we create like best game. Let's do a hacking. Let's. I want to research hacking. Okay, now we're rank 36. So. As you can see here, you can see all the ranking. And that's pretty good. Runs at night. Has achieved a company sales record with over 10k units sold. First game, boys. Best game. This is an important mil milestone in the history of Volatile Incorporated. We did it. Uh, I'd like to thank Jesus, of course. Of Nazareth. Jesus of Nazareth. Uh, for... For teaching me. No, not really. Generate... Okay, you want to gener generate game reports. I'll show you why, right? Look at the game. Okay, generate the game report. It'll be like, yeah, okay. Research, research. 
You also get research points for doing that. And then it gives you info on the combos and everything. So vampire and action, good combo. Graphics seem to be very important for that type of game. Now, just to show you, I'm gonna pick this, I'm gonna do the same type of game. Now, most likely, I will run at a lower average than my last game, because the, ga the game doesn't like it when you create the exact same game multiple times. It's like, you just did this. But I'm gonna re release it for the G64, because now I feel bad. Um, we'll call it Shameless Sellout. And we'll call it 2D, yeah. Like, generally, you're not, you shouldn't create the exact type of game. So it's like, gameplay very high, boom, engine high, story and quests, none. It's just an engine and gameplay. Now this is de definitely gonna get different results. And, and you'll see, they'll either be like, you know, he, he just did this. He literally just created this type of game. So we might get lower reviews because of it, or I'll do even better. So level design and AI high, dialogue low, let's, let's get the level, no dialogue, well, let's get that, level design a little bit lower, because I feel like AI in an action game is a bit more important. I might be wrong, because I, I'm no professional. See? And then it's like, it gives you this, three pluses, that means graphics, crank it all the way up. It's really important to have good graphics. And then sound, yeah. So the more you create a certain type of game, the more you'll know about it, and the easier it'll become to actually create that game. Now, if the in the beginning, if I turned on hints, I would already have all that, because I played the game so many times that I've done like everything, hundreds of times. So yeah, just in case you want to know, that's how it's done. I'm, I'm here to teach you how to be good at video game that is not a video game. Okay, first review. Okay. Fun at stages. Informed gamer liked it. It has its moments. And it falls a bit short. And that's generally why you don't want to create the exact same game constantly. Because then the, the reviews will go lower. See? And this is the media report. Latest game had reviewers scratching their heads. They were like, what? Rather than bringing a new and innovative game to the market, the company delivered another vampire action game which is more or less the same setting as their previous game so that is why we got lower reviews a reviewer commented I think shameless sellout was simply developed too soon after yeah so that's why you want to change it up you don't want to do the exact same thing because you're gonna lose you're gonna get fucked it's like do you like getting railed in the butt some of you can't answer that just feel feel free to comment your answer cuz I'm not gonna touch that one see Game report. Market really doesn't like it when we publish very similar games too close to each other. So yeah, that's something to keep in mind if you're planning on playing this game. Okay. I'm gonna teach you how to get an achievement. Since I am elite pro at the video games, I will show you, I will teach you. This one is Game Dev Tycoon. Well, I think that might be what the achievement might be called, or it's just Game Dev. So you research, research Game Dev Tycoon, or Game Dev. Develop new game, topic, Game Dev. Genre, simulation, name it Game Dev Tycoon. And then whichever platform, PC. If you do that, you will get, we're gonna make it text based. Nah, graphics. You get an achievement that I think is called Game Dev. But I haven't done it in forever, so yeah. So I, I already have the achievement, I'm not going to get it. I've only ever not unlocked one achievement in this game, and it is sell 100 million copies of a game without the help of a publisher. God damn near impossible. I, I don't know what to do for simulations. Um, Engine has to be high, story and quest down there, gameplay low? I think you don't need good gameplay, think about it. Because it's a simulation. So the gameplay is going to be- okay, I fucked that one up. Dialogue? AI can be low, dialogue high. Okay, I'm gonna mess this game up, I'm sorry. Simulation games are not my forte. I used to be really good at them, but I'm pretty awful at them now. But so far, all of our games have made profit. Graphics, sound. 
let's just put everything equal and see what happens. Uh, let's get good graphics, actually. Because I feel like graphics might be important. So, as you can see, our design and technology are a lot lower. That usually indicates the game's worse, and we're not as... We just didn't choose the right things. I don't think it's 100%, but I... I'm pretty sure that's what that means. But later on, we'll get into different types of games. See, nothing new. 9-11. God, fucking damn it. Okay, 9-11. Yep, you saw it here. Oh yeah, I'm also accompanied by this uh, beautiful drink. It's called Vita. It's actually really good. It's like some Italian-made um, peach nectar drink. And it's great. Oh my god, we did terrible. <laughs> so, <laughs> two and a half. I can live with it. Probably not gonna make us money. And that's just how it goes. Oh yeah, contracting business. I'll show you what contracts are. And if you make bad games, you lose fans. More fans get you more game sales because they're a fan of your games, etc. If you make a shitty game, you lose fans. Platform genre PC simulation is good. Okay. Gameplay seems to be very important. Oh, that's where I fucked. Game dev and simulation is a great combo. I wonder why. So you do contract work. It'll give me five weeks. It depends. We get 30, 13k and it five weeks time, and a penalty of 4k if we fuck it up. So we have to create 10 design and 3 technology in 5 weeks, which is pretty easy. And then you get paid. Oh please, come on, don't be stupid bro. Thank you. <laughs> pretty much that pays our bills right now. Right, and then you get 13 grand. Don't really want to do contract work a lot, it's not a good idea. Sports? Simulation, platform, PC. We're gonna call it foot, footy. Footy! Oh god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I actually probably yelled into the mic there a little too much. Uh, and then we get paid. 13k. Boom. Except 15k to make footy. Jason here, I just got world. Okay, we did good. New contracts every six months. Whatever. Sometimes contracts are actually good, though. No, gameplay has to be high. Story and quests, non-existent. And engine, pretty high. Okay, I, I gotta re redo this shit. Because, <laughs> yeah, gameplay, I guess, should be really important. Level design, AI has to be really high for a sports sim. Dialogue, pretty low. But high level design. If you think about it, you need good AI in a sports game, right? And you want good level design, like, you don't want a shitty sports arena. Oh wait, let me check something. Game Dev Tycoon the game. It made us 13... No, it made us 11k. Shameless Sellout, 20. And runs at night, 90k. Honestly, if I could do this IRL, two years and I've already made, like, 113k? In profit, I might add. Then yeah, I'd, I'd do it. Graphics, high. World sign, low. Sound, high. That one I'm not too sure about. I think that was what I went with, like, last time. Like, the general idea. Make sure the sound and graphics are good, I guess. So we'll see. Oh my god. 11, no, 10, 11. I think this game will be better. But we might get railed because it is a simulation game. And we just did one. Oh my god. So everything's leveling up, which means... I guess we can make it better, and it'll unlock better research options? Not 100% about that. How do we do? Fuck yeah! Played it for days. Good game. Outstanding game. A very good game. We did it. We, we achieved it. Now we're gonna re- Custom game engine. It's very important to research custom game engine as soon as you can. Because it'll just- It'll make you a new engine, meaning you can put a lot of different things into your games. Equaling more money and fans! Right guys? Yeah, okay. Well, I tried. I'm just- I'm just trying to help out everyone who's playing this game. 
And you know what? Isn't that what YouTube's all about? Just helping people and getting sick YouTube money? Just kidding, I don't make shit all on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, if you're a small channel, YouTube is uh, quite clearly not about making money. It's about just dicking around and having a good time. I assure you of that. Oh, wait. Okay. So now we can create a custom game engine. That looks good. Generate game report. I want to do this first to see if I can research something. If not, then, yeah, I'll just create the game engine. Because now it'll give us more insight on simulation games. Now, I used to be good at ver very good at uh, military simulation action games. Because they're very similar in the way they're made. So I'm going to try that again once I can. Because like, sim simulation military is very easy. Same with action. Uh, research. See, and then you can generate that. I'm gonna keep going with my current crappy engine, like the default engine, and we'll do a hospital. Did I do a hospital? Okay, hospital. No, I want to change it. I want to do a detective RPG. Fuck, dude. Um, a hospital RPG. We'll we'll call it. Grays, like the color grays anatomy. Dude, I'm I'm bad with names. Why is my nose so itchy? And it'll be text based. A text based RPG. Which honestly it's probably pretty popular back in the game. game. I think engine might need to be important, but I'm not too sure. Hmm. I'm not- I'm gonna play this safe. I have really good dialogue because it's an RPG. Level design and AI can be the same though. Eh, why is my nose so edgy? Okay. World design, really high. Graphics, lower. Sound, high. Okay, I think I'm gonna fuck this one up. But we, we never know. The design is quite clearly really good. The design's at 11, right? Now it's at 12. Oh yeah, also at the end you can not click ready and you'll get some more bo bonus design and technology points. I don't think it's really worth it though. So I try to just make the game as fast as possible. Okay, one new game. Oh no, research. Let's do game tutorials. There we go. Oh, that's how did we do. Grey's Anatomy. Okay, we did bad, but we didn't do dog shit terrible. And I think that's truly what we were aiming for. Like, we did about 4.5, 4.75 or so. And that's, honestly, that's not a bad score if you're just dicking around. Because you still gain fans, I believe, if it's above a rating of 4. So you can make get bad games, but you still gain fans and you always profit. Well, usually you profit. Okay, well, wait. Let me I'm gonna generate the game report, then I'm gonna do my research, then we'll create a custom game engine, which unlocks more options when creating games, as you will see soon. Yeah, we did it! Yay! Okay, hospital RPG is okay. Fuck. PC and RPG is good, damn it. Gameplay seems to be quite important. Okay. Now we're gonna do... No, research. Yeah. Mono sound. So I guess every game before had literally no sound. If you think about it, we haven't researched sound at all. So everything sounds like nothingness? Now, okay, create an engine. This is gonna be really goddamn expensive. Like, look at that, 150k. We do not have the money to make that. Um, <laughs> shit. Let's do a... It's an action vampire game. We'll call it Blade Runner. I'm really just looking for like movie titles that I can think of because I'm not good at improving these, okay? It's a vampire action game called Blade Runner. Yeah, yeah, I, I know I can create a goddamn custom game engine. I think I should be able to do really good on this, make me enough money to create a custom game engine. 
No, no, let me check out game Grey's Anatomy did. 41k profit. That's actually really bad. But actually not. Mm, I don't know how to say. AI, dialogue low, level design high, AI about there? Boom. Ninvento. Oh yeah, I forgot. Since this is, um... Since this isn't like, this is an indie game, right? They have to name everything slightly different. Right? So it's an invento, it's like... Oh shit, what's Xbox? Is it like Nbox or something? Oh crap, I can't remember. Then it's like just parody, right? They can't get sued now. <laughs> and it's great. Uh, and then for GameCube, I think they called it like a Game Sphere. Oh my god, new level in design, and technology is also really high. I think this is gonna be my best game yet. I might be wrong, but... Fucking cunt! God damn it! Oh! That's good! It's like 